Real quickly, I saw uh, some of you have been seeing the uh, tweets from the Wheaton professor, Esau McCauley. And this one started things. A question that I can't stop asking, if all translation is interpretation. Stop. It's not. All translation involves interpretation, but putting an equal sign there, which is what is is, is the foundation of this problem. That's... That's not true. But if all translation is interpretation, and interpretation is influenced by social location, stop. I interpretation can be, and to an extent may be, but not all interpretation is interpreted by social location. So we've got two problems already. This is your standard critical theory style of approach. Um, what does it mean that most of our English Bibles were translated with very few black or other Christians of color or women involved? Um, so here's your intersectionality coming in, and here's your critical theory coming in. Uh, Wheaton's infected by almost there. You can you can pretty much put on two hands the number of Christian colleges and universities today that are not in fact, uh, deeply influenced by critical theory and intersectionality, everything that goes along with it today. Uh, but, uh, but here you have it very plainly at, uh, at Wheaton. Uh, I responded uh, to this. I did not get any responses to my knowledge uh, to what I, what I wrote. Um, but um, it has no more impact uh, upon the translation of the Bible than the fact that there were no women involved in writing the Bible either. <laughs> Um, so pfft, who cares? Um, uh, the, the fact is there were no pasty white Europeans involved in writing the Bible either. Um, and so all of this identity politics standpoint of epistemology is foolishness, foolishness, foolishness. It needs to be seen for what it is. Christians need to stop playing footsie with this just because, just because they want to be seen to be wise the world. There's no difference between this, the foolishness of this and Darwinian, uh, evolutionary theory. And a lot of you have given into that too. So, hey, you know, Christians just want to be, just want to be loved by everybody. And uh, there's, there's lots of people that are willing to buy into this foolishness, but it is that. It's just simply foolishness. Um, what does it mean that most of our English Bibles translated with very few black or other Christians of color women involved? Absolutely positively nothing. Absolutely positively nothing. And uh, then he had a later tweet where he was asking, you know, what should, uh, what should Bible... What should future Bible translation committees look like and how should they strive for inclusivity and all the rest of this type of stuff? And my response was they should, first of all, we don't need any English translations, period. We've got all that we could possibly need. Um, the major translations that are still functional and worthwhile have still have functioning translation committees. And uh, those translation committees should be well stocked by people who are experts in translating the foreign languages into English. Doesn't matter what their grandpa or their great-grandpa was, doesn't matter what their gender is, it's irrelevant. 